now. 8.1 now. To, and the 10 is 10.4, nearly 10.5. Huh? 8.1k. 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 No. Like people watch different people for different things. Do you know what I mean? So that's like the kind of macro view from a content perspective for the rest of this year. Is on everybody that's putting out as much content from the reels as possible, or from their, their YouTube as possible, into reels, TikTok, whatever it may be. Just post them, don't worry about them, just post them. Figure out what's working well, and then we'll, we'll double down on those things as we kind of go through the rest of the year. But either way, guys, we're going to be filming a full length to YouTube once a week from the beginning of the next beginner's course. Not the beginning. Mm-hmm. Alex. Yeah. Obviously we want to expand the content. We're down on shooting some vlogs, shooting on some podcasts, we're going to be launching a podcast soon, which is really interesting. So like I want that to be enough for everybody to get involved, you know what I mean? I don't want to just be the Dan Patrick show, not just us. The brand is got twenty people in, in, in Ireland and we need to bring like Everybody to the service, you know what I mean? Everyone happy with that? Yeah, great. Yeah. That was the first thing I wanted to speak about. Second thing I wanted to speak about was the, I suppose, I also wanted you guys to give me some feedback on this. Was I almost wanted one suggestion from everybody what do we think we can do better at the academy? Whether that's beginners or advanced. Or content, or anything. Does anyone have any suggestions that, that they want to bring up now in terms of what we can improve? I've got a few, but I just want everybody to just bring something to the head first. Right? Go back to the idea of moving the salon. I think so. I think it makes the most sense. I think we need a full academy. We need like yeah. mm -hmm. we need a full space. In my I'd love to like take this current space yeah. and like reunite, almost start again and yeah. where about it. Mm -hmm. I think relay, relay everything. Like, yeah. You know, I'm open for that all coming down there to, to that extent. Like, so I'd love to just reorganize it a little bit yeah. and go from like start from scratch in here and then open a new salon. So the country where you sign the dot box. Alex, where's the country? But I think it would be great to be honest with you, because a lot, especially. And then and, and it contains a lot of say, salon kind of everything as well. Yeah. Yeah, actually I'm enjoying one and it wouldn't be the kind of as well doing the salon as well. But I think it had been a good piece and it'd be positive. So I had to say yeah. Yeah, fair play. I'm excited to get you into the academy and, and I know that's what you wanted to do. Sure, yeah. And time for the kind of path that's become clear for you now, you know what I mean? So it's easy to to get you involved in it basically. And Normally it's Patrick doing like baptize everybody that comes in. But uh, actually we stopped doing that thing. So it's not for you, it's not legal. Got to a point of fun there. Fun of the brain. He is the major. Start your mind with the major. Hello to all our viewers in Cambodia. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see if we can wrangle them back together. There's Robbie back again. Yes, Rob. Adam Heron back in the mix. Right, we're done kick off. My duty the thing is here that people are gonna watch this back later on, study it in depth. So guys, um me and Paddy are gonna hopefully go live once a week. It'll probably be it, it will most likely be just like a completely random time, like this morning. Um I had an hour free, Paddy had an hour free, so we said we'll just kinda of jam out and, and get something out while we had some time. The idea guys is that we wanna bring some value and some education by way of everything outside of the haircut itself. If we look at what really constitutes a successful stylist, a successful salon, a successful company, is not only the product that we create and we offer, but the way in which we offer that product is, is very important. To be honest, up until the point that, that, that I opened my own shop, I was never the best stylist in them shops. Like I was never the, the best haircutter or, or the best at, at doing haircuts, but 
I was always the best at making my clients feel good and making them feel comfortable and giving them an experience that they remembered. So Pat, just to kick things off, bro, like off the top of your head, what is it that you, if you were to pick three things that create the perfect service or the perfect experience, mm. what would they be? Yeah, well, there's a lot um, that we could put in. Um, to surmise it in three things, guys, um, tone is everything, the, 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 the tone. So if I was to say one thing, that's the tone. And what do I mean by tone? You could translate tone into the atmosphere, um, into the general feeling of the client when they're in the salon or in your service. So your tone, for example, how you carry yourself, your tone of voice, you know, these are massive, massive things that you learn when dealing with people, you know. Um, temperament is an art. Your temperament is an art, guys, in that, um, I think it's something that we discussed a few times before, in that we, we don't want to put on an act, but at the same time, we do want to kind of put on a bit of an act, um, not a fraudulent one. But we have to be very aware for temperament based on the individual that we're with, okay? So I'm just adapting my personality to the individual that's in front of me, whether they be six years old or 60. Do you know what I mean? we got to be very, very, very careful with our temperament and how we address them, all right? So tone, temperament. And lastly for me, guys, you know, I won't, I won't give it a word, but something actually that Glenn said, um, it was passed on to him by Sam, and it's as simple as they come, but guys, so, so crucial. Just treat every single client as if it's your only one, honestly. Make the treatment, make the time, make the service as exclusive as you possibly can, particularly if, if some of the younger guys are in a stage where they're building clients and we should all be in that mindset we're always trying to build clients. Mm -hmm. It should never be a thing where we're fully booked so I can take the foot off the gas, I can relax and I've made it. We should always be trying to build clients, you know, if not for us and for our colleagues and our teams and so on. Mention mm -hmm. anything else before we go? No, just the fact that I think, you know, everyone's doing fantastic guys as it is. This is just to help and support the system that's already in place. And um, also, I know Glenn will, will, will second this, but guys, any issues around this area at all, I, I am at your disposal for it to, to help coach, support, and um, if you want to have a chat about anything, like we are always here to, to help do that. And it's really just to help you be the best that you can be. That's it. 100%, yeah. So, guys, it's Wednesday the 28th. Yeah. September. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the office today. We're not in a salon today. We're, uh, today is the day of the week where me and Jack pretend to do work. <laughs> I'm sitting here and you cross on some drink coffee all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't really. It's actually a very busy day today. So we're actually just about to meet or have a meeting with our brand new marketing agency, which we're very excited about. Um, as we went from like one salon to five salons, it's been a big shift in the company and with that we have kind of just changed some of the systems that we had from like a one salon company to a five five salon and an academy company so we've got six different businesses here in here in Ireland now which requires a full circle media operation from content to, to delivery of the content to ads and, and everything in between so yeah about to meet our, our new agency um, figure out the strategy behind Men's War Ireland going into the second half of 2022 and beyond. So yeah, enjoy this meeting guys. James coming in literally should just like revolutionise that sales process man. To the point where like we post a piece of content. That piece of content goes out on Instagram wherever it goes. Drums up lots of attention, creates lots of energy people go through to the website submit their application james on the phone ringing them mm -hmm. locking them in yeah literally yeah, within a day like within a day pretty good and yourself very good very very good um yeah. yeah yeah likewise i mean we've only spoken on the phone really haven't we so um yeah i'm i'm very very excited guys to be honest about going forward with this different so what i did is i went to your Instagram, uh, Men's Fire Instagram, and your TikTok, and basically just pull the best performing content because straight away that's giving us an idea that that, that registered with people as an organic post, so it probably will as an ad. Yeah. I go in, design the full homepage skin. So that's just like a flat mock up of the homepage, 
runs through the whole style concept, gets the images across. If we put all the text in the copy that we think works, give that flow. Um, what I'll do then is I'll present that to you guys, as many of you, you want to be there. I'll explain the rationale, how it's going to move, why we thought of doing it, and then we get you, your two cents. Obviously, you know your business better than us, so we might be missing something. And after that, you share it around to everybody that works in the company, show people outside the company that don't have tunnel vision. So that way we can work out any of the kinks before we even launch. Um, and then other than that, once we're started and we're fully, fully happy, it's just go cool life. Sick. Guys, I'm ready to go. So send over the invoice, let's get that paid, let's get this thing moving. I want this all done, Savage. boxed off, yeah, before next year. <sighs> so, it's Friday, end of the week. Um, we are on the way to the salons pretty much today. Friday is like the day where we kind of drop into all the salons. Most Fridays obviously doesn't happen every week, but try and show my face in, in every shop at least once a week. That's that that's the intention anyway. Um, so we're just going to go and see all the guys. Um, make sure there's no fires burning. Um, and just have a little catch up with everyone, see how everyone's getting on. Hopefully see some like old customers people people that have been coming to the brand for a while but i just like really enjoy like i love getting back to the roots of it like obviously we spend a lot of the week these days working on you know like big picture stuff and sometimes i just love like getting back into the salons for the day not even like necessarily doing a fully booked day of clients but like just getting back in to see i suppose how the standards are in in the shops and seeing how everybody's getting on so yeah um, first stop, Fibsborough. Second stop, Crumlin. And so on. Gamma, the Italian stallions of the clipper industry at the minute. Huh? <laughs> Josh's lover. Huh? <laughs> um, interested to see what this is all about, though. The boosted, yeah. Man. Is it like the first one? Small boosted. Interesting. Put some caffeine in there, did they? But I did, I used Alex's like two weeks ago um, on like one of the fade models that we done. And there was a like big difference. Big difference, bro. Mm. Like just like do you know the way like I think and even obviously this is why Josh is 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 in love with it, like but, we, but I think like the momentum that we fade with a men's sport, like it's not that it's but it is quicker, like like if you watch nearly everybody at men's sport, it's, it's quite a quick rhythm when yeah. we fade, do you know what I mean? And I think that the gamut is just like a little bit more equipped for that or something. I don't know. Mm. But like with the with sometimes with the magic clip, especially if it's if it's gotten a little bit old, like and you're trying to move through the hair, it's like you're having to go back over. Yeah. Things, you know what I mean? But it's like, not like catching, but it's not yeah. just cutting it smoothly. Yeah, like. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I used Alex as one of these last week, bro. It was like one like one movement, like one push. And like the whole section just came off, you know what I mean? Mm. Looking forward to using it, man. This isn't a sponsorship, by the way. Unfortunately, I've got, I've got no affiliation to Gamma. I just really enjoyed this this last clip. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoever runs the car park does their job extremely well, but a little bit, little bit too well. <laughs> <laughs> Uniform? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all good. No, just, just get men's for with these shirts, Oh, yeah, just get men's for these shirts. We didn't plan that, sorry. How, how did it look this morning when you spoke? Turned up. Was there a stare down? Was no, there... no, no, I was there. <laughs> came in the trench coat and the safari hat. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, dance battle, yeah. <laughs> Two men wearing very similar to each other. Uh, yeah. Luckily, they didn't wear the same pants. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone pants? Yeah. Yeah. Nice pants, pants actually. Yeah. These, yeah. I actually sold my ones last week for a good one. Did you? <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> I can give you the link though. 